Alright guys, welcome to the video. First thing I just want to say, I don't normally actually pull sumo, so as you're watching this, this is the first time I ever tried pulling sumo deadlifts. And in all honesty, I couldn't actually get my legs out quite wide. Like, like you see some people, when they do sumo deadlifts, their plate, the plate is literally how far their feet is out, so that's how wide they go. I can't do that because my hip flexibility isn't very good, and that is something I'm working on, but... I don't actually pull sumo deadlift, I pull conventional because I'm just a lot stronger in that position. For instance, my one rep max on conventional deadlifts is 155kg, which I only hit a few days ago. So that's what happens when I pull sumo, I just obviously can't pull it as much. But it's something I'm starting to incorporate in my workouts to get a bit stronger on. And some of my mates are helping me with the form a little bit, like to help me sit down more and pull more through my legs or whatever. But I am pretty happy with this form, if you watch when I actually go to pull the weight my back is obviously straight so there's no real arch in my back which is pretty decent and where this was a video from holiday or the workout on holiday I didn't have a weightlifting belt so I couldn't go as heavy and I didn't have chalk so you'll see on my last rep in the set I failed the actual lift I get all the way up but I just couldn't hold it and reason as to why that happened was because normally when I deadlift I use chalk so my grip gets pretty weak and to be honest my hands sweat a lot when I'm deadlifting so as you can see there I just couldn't necessarily hold it but I completed the lift anyway so that's just what I wanted to speak about my deadlifts and it's something I'm going to work on doing sumo a lot more but conventional I feel so much stronger as and you will see a video next week with my conventional deadlifts in and you will notice it's a lot stronger. I was pulling 130 for three to five reps and it just felt so much easier, okay? And that's just what happens. That's just what I've always done. Like I've always pulled conventional since I ever start first ever started working out, should I say, or first ever started deadlifting, so that's what happened. And here we moved on to some barbell back squats. Obviously we couldn't use a lot of weight because there's no power racks, so I had to like clean and jerk the weight up to get onto my shoulders. This is just 40 kg and I went between 20 to 30 reps, just burning up my legs, going arse to grass and just getting as much volume in as possible. We then moved on to these lion leg curls and this machine felt a bit awkward because it was so long, the machine itself, in comparison to one at our gym. It's just a lot harder to actually get good tension onto your hamstrings because this machine as well, it doesn't go all the way up. If you notice, I can't actually get the pad up to my glutes simply because the machine stops at a certain range of motion so it is a limited range of motion but do you know what I mean you've got to do what you've got and this is a holiday gym so it's not going to be that great then we moved on to some hip abductors simply because it keeps the hips nice and healthy as well as that this helps my knees to not cave in on my squats so something was working with all the reps and sets will be in the description box below just in case you wanted to see what I was doing I can't actually remember specifically what I was doing but I remember mainly, do you know what I mean, the main reps and sets, but the main focus on this workout was to just get the volume in and get the workout done. That's near enough the workout finished. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and help the channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.